Just wanted to make mention a couple things. Uh, just started using this iCharger 4010 Duo and uh, really enjoying this convenience of having two independent channels. Uh, my last video I ran the channels in a synchronous mode, which basically ties the two outputs together to help you increase your current handling. Uh, and I did that for a charge and discharge. And this time I need to slowly start bringing this battery back up and uh, decided I was running a different test on these things. I'll have a video for that as well, but I was testing out a BMS using this, this little thing here. And I have, uh, on channel one, I have the Samsung 18650s. Actually, sorry, I apologize. Channel one is the Fiat battery, and channel two is the uh, Sanyos. That's right. Um, so, you know, not really pushing much current. This time I'm driving it off a uh, server power supply. And I soldered some 10 gauge silicone leads to some Andersons into this thing. You really gotta watch your input current. And if you don't, you'll pull one of those Jehu things. He broke his charger. But you should probably consider getting this one. You can set your Oh, it's locked right now because I'm charging, but you can set your parameters for input power and also set a limit. So I set a 40 amp limit for this thing for 12 volt. And uh, even if I turn it up higher than that, it'll, it, it won't allow the supply current to exceed 40 amps. Um, you can, and uh, I think the input current limit or maximum input current on this thing is 65 amps, but trying not to break the thing. I do like the screen. I do like the two independent channels. I'm charging a 7S battery and a 5S battery. The status buttons it get you some additional information. So internal resistance between this guy and this guy is pretty significant. And these Sanyo batteries, you're actually pretty healthy. This, uh, they're all kind of in the, the mid-80s. Like one or two at 100. That's not bad. But these things, I mean, even a high-quality 18650, like a Sanyo 25R or Samsung 25R, that'll get you down to maybe in the 20s, internal resistance. This thing is in the 0 0.4, 0 0.5 extremely low resistance cells, very high drain type characteristics. I've pushed this battery and I was throwing like 40 amps to charge into the thing and it, it doesn't warm up. Chargers warm up. Cables will get uh, smoking hot. I actually turned it back down. I highly recommend the silicone leads, but that is not what I'm using here. It's kind of temporary. Just to uh, kind of test the stuff out. But, yeah, so far so good. It's got quite a bit of features. I'll continue doing some videos for you guys and show you what it can and can't do. Whole bunch of stuff that I've been going through the manual. And this is a pretty good fit for what I'm trying to do especially being able to uh, do some more advanced things when you can actually tie two channels together, either synchronous or asynchronous. All right, see you later.